If you're asked how to factor the equation x squared plus 4x minus 5, here's how you do it. We're going to start with a skeleton equation. So we have a skeleton equation here. Then we're going to add the signs. So I see I have a positive and a negative here. If the last term is negative, we'll put a positive and negative in our skeleton equation, like this. Then we're going to find the factors for the last term, that's the negative 5 here, that add up to the middle term, the 4. So really the factors for 5 are just 1 and 5. Since I want the middle term here to be positive, I'm going to put negative 1 and then 5 here. x times negative 1, that's negative 1x, then I have 5 times x, that's 5x. So 5x and negative 1x, that's 4x. So we've correctly factored the equation x squared plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. Let's check our work though with the FOIL method. First, outside, inside, last, we get. And we can combine negative x and 5x. That gives us the 4x. Here's the negative 5x. Here's the x squared. So this is the same thing we started out with. So we correctly factored the equation. Let's take a moment and find the values for x that when we put them in the equation here, that'll make this side equal to 0. So 0 will equal 0. That's a true statement. So we say x plus 5, that equals 0. Add a negative 5 to both sides, x equals negative 5. Up here, x minus 1 equals 0. So we add 1 to both sides, x equals 1. If you put 1 in to the equation here, 1 squared is 1 plus 4 times 1, that's 5. And 5 plus negative 5, that equals 0. Likewise, if you put negative 5 in for x, you also get 0 when you do the math. If you use the quadratic equation, you would end up with these exact numbers here as well. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus 4x minus 5. Thanks for watching.